Okay, Josh, we have to do the intro. All right, what were you thinking? I don't care. Just, like, do that, um, like, that classic, you know what I mean? The cursive writing, like, dear graduating class of 2012, we salute you. That's a terrible idea. Let's not do that. Okay, so what Instead, do you want to do? I was thinking we do something upbeat, something really, really, really fun, you know? Put on some fun music, have like flames coming across. <laughs> Let's just... Honestly, it has to be something that's really classic, you know what I mean? Classy, but cute and meaningful, not something overdone, just something really... I think I, I, think I get you. So Jesse, um, what do you think of Sherelle? Uh, Sherelle Shia is actually the best girl. No, 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 not Sherelle Shia. Kahan Report. Oh, okay, Sagi is the coolest guy ever. No, like... no, 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 not Sagi Kahan Report. Sherelle Kahan Report. Oh, you mean Zoo Girl? I was talking once in a muddle, and she yelled at me, and I cried. What do you think of Orly Bogler? She's she's fine, I guess. Why do you have like a problem with her? It's not that I have a problem with her. It's that. I wanted to go to prom with Brenner. How was it having Farber as head of the Shabbatim? Wait, isn't Dylan head of Shabbatons? So Dan, what influenced you to become so religious? Well, Brenner said he'd only be friends with me if I came to Minion. Being friends with Ellie is, you know, kind of hard because of his condition. I mean, it's just like, it's really hard for him living like that. I mean, this one time I asked him to go photocopy something for me in the library, and then he told me he couldn't, and I just felt so bad because I totally forgot about his Crohn's. Wait, that's what Crohn's is? Ellie, are you kidding me? I don't understand. Does Caroline not want to go to prom with Dylan? No, he just didn't ask her yet. But prom's on Monday. Girl, smile! <laughs> Actually, I can understand how Cory got valedictorian. Well, like, with a math like that, how can you not? I'm like stressing so much about math. Yeah. Oh, it's for it. Remember that kid from back when we were at Associated and he ended up going to Juvie? I actually know who you're talking about. Um, he tried selling me drugs in grade 8, and then for some weird reason he laminated a kiba. And turns out he's the president of our school. That's how the world works, people. All right, guys, so we're ready to film Ethan Stern's part. Who's doing it? Screw that. Stern went to Queens. So, Berto, you and Jen got pretty close this year. Would you say you guys are similar? Every single Shabbaton, somebody comes up to me and he's like, you and Jen are the same, Josh the same and I just don't get it I just I don't understand it Steph is a really good matricha I mean she's just always oh it's my alarm my bad above all people we know what it takes to make a friendship. The bonds of friendship are the strongest of all. Dylan really completes our threesome. Friendship. friendship. So Val, what was it like working with Dina this year as a madrika? Dina Gang? I thought she was the Grossman's babysitter. My aunt, wait! All right, Josh, so just say the first adjective that comes to your mind, all right? Yeah. Elad Cohen. Sexy. That's inappropriate. Big sexy. That's still inappropriate. Gives me the ability to cream my jeans. I don't even try again. Shaliach? We'll accept it. On the last Shabbaton, Elad asked me for five dollars for veggie chillin', and I gave him five dollars for veggie chillin', and on the Shabbaton, he did not make me veggie chillin', and that <laughs> stole my money. When I came in as a green guy, like, I really looked up to D, like, he's, like, good looking, he's strong, he's smart. And but then, like, we got to Fight Club, <laughs> he honestly doesn't know what he's doing. Ezra, you lost. Honestly, f*** you. 
Wait, Michelle Zayev hates Kumsets? But why? Does she hate puppies too? The Green Twelves are the best. They are so considerate of each other's feelings and they're so good to one another. They are so inspiring. Whenever, whenever I'm around them, I just, like, I'm in awe of how incredible they are. The grade twelves are the best. Dear grade twelves. Dear grade twelves. Dear grade twelves. You taught us how to lead Kabbalah but You taught us how to lead by example. You taught us that Havdalah is more than just spices and candles. And for that we thank you. Dear grade twelves. You taught us how to stay true to ourselves. You taught us what my Shabbat is. You taught us how to lead a Kumsitz. You taught us how to chug a Red Bull before alternatives be left. You taught us how to lead Tish. You taught us how to save your Katamazon. You taught us how to be charismatic. You taught us how to make a badass Chala. You taught us how to make him again to beat out a foil. You're welcome. You taught us what it means to stand up and lead, and what it means to sit down and listen. And for that. 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 And for that, we thank you. Dear Grade Twelves, you believed in us, and for that, we thank you. And thus ends a chapter in the Grade Twelves' lives.